Hi, I'm Hannah here with The Culture Project to chat with you about if you're in love with somebody or figuring out if you're in lust with somebody. Congrats, you're booed up or know someone who is. You're grateful for all those butterflies and those times where you realize how grateful you are. You are an L-O-V-E love. Or are you? How do you know what is love? There is another L word that looks a lot like love until it's time to sacrifice. Let me explain. You know that look you get when someone looks at you like they're a hungry wolf looking at sheep? This kind of creepy smile? Nobody likes that, okay? You feel like you're on display, right? They're only interested in your body. Or maybe when someone whistles at you while you're walking down the street, that ain't cute, sir. When you think of love, what do you think of? Hopefully, you think of someone willing the best for you. True love is interested in the good of the other. It's not a selfish thing. Love might come with all the fuzzy feelings, but that's not what it's all about. Love is a choice. When you fall for someone, I think it's easy to attribute the good feelings to love. I'm in love. However, lust can come with those same feelings. And how do you tell them apart? Here are three questions to ask when you wanna know if you're in love or you're in lust with someone. One, do you freely give your time and priorities to this person? Or do you just wanna take what you can get whenever you can get it? If it's all about what you can get, it's probably lust. Two, are you willing to sacrifice for this person? Or do you just dip out when things are different? difficult and aren't convenient anymore. Love sticks around through difficult times and lust just says you're not worth the sacrifice. When you're not your best self, are they sticking around? That's love. Number three, is this relationship centered on physical intimacy? Would we have anything in common if we didn't hook up? We might like the feeling of being with someone, which is good, those feelings aren't bad, but if a relationship's physical intimacy does not match the commitment level, hashtag chastity, then we're gonna be in trouble. If you stop sending pictures, will they still talk to you? The biggest indicator if it's love or lust is probably going with your own intuition. Listen, boo-boo, no matter how long it takes, it is always worth the wait for someone to be in love with you and not just in lust after you. Being lusted after seems kind of nice at first because you get this attention and it feels good. It's nice to have your phone light up with a text from someone who's cute thinking about you, smiley face emoji. It's never worth it though. It's a counterfeit. Unlike a fake Louis Vuitton bag, it might seem nice from far away and fool a few people, but up close it's poorly made and will fall apart. Take it from me, you're worthy of a beautiful love. Hi, I'm Hannah with The Culture Project. Click here to subscribe and here for more videos. Still awkward, still awkward. <laughs>